Chapter 57, The Header Jesus teaches his twelve apostles what they should do when he is gone. He promises to send the Holy Ghost to teach them all things. 1. And it came to pass that when Judas was gone out from among them, Jesus said unto those apostles who remained, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. And if God be glorified in him, then God shall also glorify him himself, and shall straightway glorify him. For the Son shall take no glory for himself, but hath given all glory unto God. 2. For this reason God glorifieth the Son, who shall receive no glory except it be given him of God, who is his Father. 3. Behold, I would that ye should be like unto little children, even yet this little while that I am with you. For little children, when they are with their father, glorifieth their father and cling to him. But when he is gone, they seek for him, not knowing where he hath gone. 4. And after I have gone, ye shall seek me as a child seeketh its father, whom it glorifieth. Thus have I said unto the Jews, Whither I go, ye cannot come unless ye keep the commandments that I have given unto you. 5. And I have given many commandments unto you, which are the commandments of the Father. And all these commandments are new, and not like those of old, on which believeth the Jews. But these things are encompassed in one commandment, which is from the Father. 6. So now I say to you, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as ye would have them love you. And as I have loved you in this way, ye should also love one another. And by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. 7. And the apostles, each one, came unto Jesus and wept upon him. And when Simon Peter came to him, he said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus answered him, Whither I go, thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. 8. And Peter said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thy sake. 9. Jesus answered him, saying, One day thou shalt lay down thy life for me, even as I lay down my life, so shall thee. But now thou canst not lay down thy life for me, because my life is not mine, but his who sent me. 10. And Peter was angered in love for his Lord, and said, Surely I will lay down my life for thee this very night. 11. And Jesus smiled upon him, and looked into his eyes, and said, Wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall not crow, till thou hast denied me thrice. 12. And then Jesus turned to all of his apostles who were surrounding him, and said unto them, Let not your hearts be troubled, because I have said unto you, that I must now lay down my life. But if ye believe in God, believe also in me, whom God hath commanded to lay down his life, that he may take it up again, and go unto the Father for you. 13. And fear not for those by whose hands I shall die. Neither fear for those who have not kept the commandments of the Father. For behold, in the house of my Father there are many mansions, where these may dwell after they have repented, and have received of the glory of the Father. 14. But ye, who have been given me by the Father, shall be with me in the house of my Father. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and receive you unto myself through the power of the resurrection, that where I am, there you may be also. 15. And whither I go, ye know, and the way that ye shall get there, ye also know, because I have told you. 16. Then Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? 17. And Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and what ye have seen me do, do ye, even as I have commanded you. For I go unto the Father to dwell in his kingdom, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. 18. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. 19. And Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. And Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long a time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? 
20. Behold, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and he that witnessed my example hath seen the example of the Father. And how sayest thou then, Showest the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? 21. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but I have given you the words that I have received of the Father. And the Spirit of the Father that dwelleth in me, causeth me to do the works that ye have witnessed me do. 22. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. And if ye cannot believe me at this time, then believe me because ye have seen the works that I have done. For the works that I have done are the works of the Father, in whom ye already believe. 23. And ye know that the works that I have done cannot be done except the Father hath given me the power to do these works. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, because the Father shall also be with him, and give unto him his power. 24. And greater works than these shall he do, because the Father shall send forth the Holy Ghost, which shall testify to the spirits of his children of his words, and of the works that those who believeth on me do. Because I go unto my Father, and can no longer do the works in the flesh that ye can do. 25. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, ye shall be able to convince many of my words which I have given unto you. Even many of those who have rejected me shall accept you, because of the power of the Holy Ghost, which the Father hath established to teach all of his children his will. 26. And my name shall remain among you as an example of those works which I did in the flesh. And if ye do the works that ye have seen me do, then ye act in my name. And if ye act in my name, the Father shall give unto you all that ye ask of him. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. 27. Yea, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it, if ye love me. And if ye love me, ye will keep my commandments. And I will pray that the Father shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you for ever. 28. And this comforter is the Holy Ghost of whom I have spoken, even the Spirit of truth who shall bear witness unto you of all things, and whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not with the eyes of flesh, for he is of spirit matter. 29. Neither knoweth they him, because their works are evil, but ye know him, because ye do the works of the Father, which ye have seen me do. And because of the works which ye do, his spirit dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. 30. And this is why I said unto you, I will not leave you comfortless, but shall ask the Father to send his Spirit to comfort you when I am gone. 31. But one day I will come to you again, yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But in that day ye shall see me, because I shall live again, being resurrected by the power of the Father, and by this same power ye shall also live. 32. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you, for we shall all be one. Therefore he that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him by the gift of the Holy Ghost, which the Father shall send to you because of me. 33. And Judas, the brother of James, who did not betray the Lord, saith unto him, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? 34. And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, which are the words of my father. And if he keep the words of my father, then my father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him by giving unto him the Holy Ghost. 35. And as the Son witnesseth of the Father by the flesh, even so doth the Holy Ghost witnesseth of the Father by the Spirit. For the Son giveth an example of the Father by the works that he doeth in the flesh, and the Holy Ghost giveth an example of the Father by that which he giveth through the Spirit. 36. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and doth not follow the example of the Father. Therefore he doeth that which the world doeth, and not that which I have given unto him by my word. 37. 
And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the word of the Father who hath sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. 38. And now I have said unto you that the Holy Ghost shall bring all things to your remembrance. And how shall he bring something to you that ye might remember it, except that ye have heard it before? And I say unto you that ye have all before heard the things that I have given unto you by the command of the Father. 39. For these things are the same things that ye heard of the Father before ye entered into mortality. Yea, even those things which he spake unto you in his kingdom before this world was created. 40. And as his children ye heard all these things from the Father. And the Holy Ghost shall bring these things which ye have heard to your remembrance. And when they are brought to your remembrance, ye shall feel peace, which is caused by the confirmation of the Holy Ghost, that the things that ye remember are true. 41. And this peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you through the Spirit. Not as the world giveth peace, give I unto you, but the peace which ye shall receive from the Spirit shall be an everlasting peace that shall dwell with you for ever. 42. Therefore let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. And if ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father to prepare a place for you. 43. And I can do nothing further for you in the flesh, for the work that I have been given to do by my Father is done. And now the work of the Father for you must be done for my Father is greater than I. 44. And now, I have told you before it cometh to pass, that when it is to come to pass, ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you according to the flesh, but I shall send forth the Holy Ghost to be with you, that ye be not overcome by the world. 45. For the Prince of Darkness, who is of this world, cometh, but hath no power over me, but he hath power over you, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence, that it may be done to me according to the will of the Father. 46. But I would that ye should continue in the flesh, and bring forth fruits worthy of me, for I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. 47. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away and burneth. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. 48. Now ye are clean through repentance and faith on the word which I have spoken unto you. Therefore abide in me, and I shall abide in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye bring forth fruit worthy of me, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, but without me ye can do nothing. 49. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch that is withered. And as men gather the branches of the vine that bear not fruit, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned, even so shall it be unto those who do not abide in me. 50. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit which is worthy of me. And if ye bring forth this fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. 51. And as the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Therefore continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept the commandments of my Father, and abide in his love. 52. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. And this is my commandment unto you, even the same commandment that I receive from my Father, that ye love one another as I have loved you. 53. And greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. 54. Henceforth I call you not to be my servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. 
But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Therefore ye knoweth that which I do. 55. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, that ye should go forth and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain because of the Holy Ghost that shall purify and sanctify the fruit. And by being purified and sanctified, whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he shall give it you. 56. Again, these things I command you, that ye love one another, and do unto others what ye would have them do unto you. 57. And when ye shall teach these things in the world, ye shall be hated for that which ye teach. For those of the world do not love one another, and do unto others what they will. For they love themselves, and those who are their friends, and their families, and their sons, and their daughters, and their husbands, and their wives. But the stranger they do not love, and their enemy they hateth. 58. And when ye teach them that it is the will of the Father that they love their neighbor and their enemy, then shall they hate you. 59. But if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you as it hateth me. 60. And in this ye shall know if ye truly are my disciples, for the world hateth my disciples, and persecuteth them. 61. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. 62. But the righteous shall hear your voice, and keep your sayings, for if they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. 63. But all these things will the wicked do unto you for the sake of my name, or in other words, the things which I have done among them, and they do these things because they know not him who sent me. 64. For if they knew the Father, then they would know that the Father loveth all his children, and hath no enemies, but loveth them all. 65. And if I had not come and spoken unto them, then they would have not had sin because the Father is merciful unto those who have not heard his voice. But now they have no cloak for their sin, because they have heard his voice through me. 66. And he that hateth me hateth my Father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, then they would have had no sin, because of the mercy of the Father. But now they have both seen and hated both me and my Father, for we are one. 67. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law, which said, They hated me without a cause. 68. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me unto those who do the will of the Father, even those who loveth his enemies, and doeth unto others what he would have others do to him. For this is the commandment of the Father. 69. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. And ye shall write the witness that ye have seen, that it might be brought forth to judge those who have received these things. 70. For I shall not write these things and send them forth. For I shall take no glory unto myself, except it be given me of the Father. Therefore ye shall write, and shall be given glory for that which ye shall write. 71. And all these things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended when ye are persecuted for the sake of my name. For they shall put you out of the synagogues, because ye do not teach for doctrine the commandments of men, but preach unto them the commandments of the Father. 72. Yea, the time cometh, that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. 73. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you always, and it was I that the world hated, and not you. 74. But now I go my way to him who sent me, and none of you asketh me, Whither goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. 
Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, so that ye might understand whither I go, and why I go unto the Father. 75. Behold, it is expedient for you that I go away from you in the flesh. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you, because I am with you in the flesh. And because I am with you in the flesh, ye have no need of the Holy Ghost. For we are one, and will give unto you the same words and the same understanding. 76. But if I depart, I will send him unto you, so that ye might know through the Spirit what ye could not understand in the flesh. For the flesh straineth against the Spirit, even that the flesh understandeth not the Spirit. But the Spirit understandeth the flesh, and doth not strain against it. 77. For this reason ye understand not the things that I have said unto you in the flesh from the beginning. But the Holy Ghost I shall send unto you to give to your spirit the understanding that ye could not get from the flesh. 78. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment of sin. He reproveth because they believe not on me, and the things that I have taught unto them. Of righteousness he reproveth, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more, and yet ye shall still believe that of myself all righteousness doth come. Taking glory from the Father, and of judgment he reproveth, because the Prince of this world is judged according to his works. 79. For the world shall judge that which is good and of God to be evil, and that which is evil and of the prince of darkness to be good. 80. And I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth in that which he shall speak unto you. 81. For he shall not speak of himself, but of the Father. But whatsoever he shall hear from the Father, that shall he speak. And if ye ask of the Father in my name by keeping my commandments, and following my example, then he will show you things to come. 82. He shall glorify the Father through me, for he shall receive of mine, which I have received from the Father, and shall shew unto you, who are mine. 83. All things that the Father hath are mine, because he hath given them unto me for your sakes. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall shew it unto you. 84. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. 85. Then said some of his disciples among themselves, What is this that he saith unto us? A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again, a little while, ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. They said therefore amongst themselves, What is this that he saith? A little while? We cannot tell what he saith. 86. Now Jesus knew that they were desirous to ask him, and said unto them, Do ye inquire among yourselves of that I said? A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, because I am gone unto the Father. 87. And ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, hath sorrow, because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish, because of the joy that a child is born into the world. 88. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. 89. And in that day ye shall ask of me nothing, for my glory shall be swallowed up in the glory of the Father. But of the Father ye shall ask all things, and it shall be done unto you. 90. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing of the Father in my name, because I have been with you in the flesh. But when ye have received the Holy Ghost, then ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. 91. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, because of the wickedness of men. But the time cometh, when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs. But when I have sent unto you the Comforter, I shall shew you plainly of the Father. 92. At that day ye shall ask in my name, but I shall say not unto you. But I will pray unto the Father for you, 
because ye yet do not understand that ye are equal to me in the eyes of the Father. 93. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father, and am come into the world to save all men, by giving them the commandments of the Father. 94. Again I leave the world, and go to the Father who hath sent me. And his disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee, but have commanded us to ask all things of God, taking no glory unto thyself. And by this humility we believe that thou camest forth from God. 95. Jesus answered them, saying, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone, and yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. 96. Behold, the things that I have spoken unto you, I have said unto you, that in me ye might have peace. For in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world, and have shown you the way that ye might also overcome the world. 97. And the Holy Ghost shall teach you all these things, that ye might overcome the world, and have peace with you always. End of chapter 57.